I'm the only person in the world who can truly understand you and who will never judge you for being what you are. I created you. And I'm going to take care of you. I know what's in your heart. Parents, whether absent or not, have a huge influence on the development of a person as they're growing up. And we show it on Titans in a much more heightened way in that their parents are very powerful, possibly even evil people. That story of many of these Titans, but especially the story of Connor and Sebastian this season, which is when faced with your destiny, do you let it run its course or do you alter it? There are a lot of daddy issues going on here. As an actor, you do need to look at the influence of the character's parentage and where they came from and how they feel and think about their parents. Dick lost his parents at a young age, so he becomes that father figure for a lot of these titans because he knows what it's like. You deserve to know your parents. Everyone does. I want to meet them. I think the richest source of conflict for Connor this season is this choice between who am I going to be? Am I going to be Lex Luthor or Superman? Connor is figuring out who he is and what those two people represent are constantly at odds with one another. I've been told that Superman is a shining beacon of hope and that Lex Luthor, he's ruthless. I really shouldn't model myself on him at all. But at the end of the day, curiosity prevails. I wouldn't get within a mile of Lex Luthor. You don't owe him anything. Maybe he owes me something. Like what? Answers? Why was I created? So he goes to meet Lex, gets to ask him all these personal questions any of us would want to ask our creator, and then immediately Lex is killed. Connor loses that opportunity to get to know his father. That journey that he goes on in season four is in many ways predicated on that scene. Now he feels like he wants to explore this alternate path. We've all had to fight a battle with our dark side. This isn't my dark side. This is the side that's looking out for me. He's been suppressing his darker identity or the portion of his identity that's Lex Luthor. And in exploring it, he may give it the keys to the car. You don't want to give that dark side the keys to the car. Stop with the Mr. Kent business. Just call me Connor or Mr. Luthor. The other Titans, they don't want anything to do with this Lex Luthor trajectory that Connor seems to be taking, but he has to explore this before he can decide whether or not to really implement the darker aspects of himself into the man that he's going to grow to become. He's got these amazing powers and this amazing DNA, but his task is going to be about what he does with that power and trying to inspire him to use it in the right way. And I think it's quite a similar parallel for each character. My name is Sebastian, and I'm going to change the world. Sebastian, an unknown, struggling video game designer working as a taxidermist at night, discovers he's endowed with this great power and does not know which way to go. Soon after we meet him, I don't feel like Sebastian sees things like good and evil. So when he finds out that Mother Mayhem and Trigon are his parents, he questions everything that he's ever known. I don't even know what I am. I'm a child of Trigon too. And I made the choice to become a Titan, because you do get a choice. Through his life, he craved to feel accepted, to feel loved. And then what Mother Mayhem offered him is power. And the idea of being in control and being powerful to him is, is too much to resist. He starts to feel the influence of his father. And he has to decide whether he wants to make the choice to assume the mantle of Brother Blood for good or ill. I finally know who I'm supposed to be. The anger that has built up through his whole life at having this absent father, at feeling abandoned, starts to bubble to the surface and he starts to feel real resentment and an entitlement to that power that Trigon holds. It's an Icarus tale. It's about someone who gets so inflated that he becomes deluded and he loses his sense of connection to the people who care most about him. The need for love is just such a powerful thing to play. These kids are gonna make mistakes. They're powerful human beings, and um, we all learn from our mistakes. It's a part of growing up. That's the ongoing struggle this season is, who do I model myself on? Who do I wanna be like? 
can I forge my own identity? And everybody's choice and the conflict about those choices determines the path of the season. What I want is for you to choose for yourself what and who you will be.